This is the Geneva Shore Report coming to you from the Riviera Pier Complex or just north of it. You can see the flags are at half mast for the Milwaukee shooting, uh, the, the people who died there and their survivors. Uh, it's an interesting day, a cold day, a blowy day, but a sunny day in downtown Lake Geneva. And we are here on... It is Friday morning, February 28th, 2020. I'm Lisa Otto. John Lufthouse. And George Blushy Jr. And the Geneva Show Report. Good, Good morning, morning, everyone. Um, we are here for the Friday morning news report here in Lake Geneva. So, um, with the, Mur the Miller Brewer shooting that went on um, recently and the flags at half mass, we also want to send out our condolences to the Kasurks and Kathleen Kasurks family. She passed last night at 6 30 in so. Madison at the hospital. So very sad. She'll yeah. be very much missed. Um, she was a fan of the Geneva yeah, Shore Report was, and we really liked her. Guy. Yeah it's a shame. Friend, we'll miss so. her. I, I think there's yeah a lot of people in Lake Geneva really enjoyed Kathleen so um, it's kind of a big deal. So with that being said we have other things going on here in Lake Geneva. We have paid parking starting on Sunday. It is a leap year, so a short month. Um, February is a short month. And well, no, it's a long month for February because it's usually 28 days. Oh, yeah, okay. It's going to be oh. 29. All right, it still feels like a short month. Like yeah. 29 yeah, it feels like a short month. Okay, so yeah, paid parking starts on Sunday. Don't forget to stop in at City Hall today and make sure you have your updated stickers for your vehicle. Otherwise, just get ready to pay the meters. Um, a lot of unanswered questions still with parking here in Lake Geneva. So right now it remains the same. $2 for prime parking, $1 on the outsides of um, the actual downtown couple blocks of Lake Geneva. So that has not changed yet. We're still waiting for a parking manager to fill Sylvia's position here in Lake Geneva, which could be filled this um, week. There's a personnel committee meeting on Tuesday. So we're hoping to find out a little more about that. Um, they did increase the pay for the parking manager, so maybe that'll bring in some more worthy candidates for the position. Hard to replace Sylvia, yes. though. Yes, I it know. is. I know. And of course they raised the pay after she left. I know. They should have done that when she was yeah. still here. Yeah. Well. Well. And we have Danae Coco Bay's last weekend here in Lake Geneva. They are closing their doors, which is very sad. Selling off all their stuff, yes. right? Yes. She is a fabulous lady. So, but going to, to South warm. Carolina, I think. Yes. Yeah. Uh -huh. So I can't blame her. Going yeah. Warm up. <laughs> okay. Well, her place was like really beachy, so yes, I can is. picture her living on the beach. Yes. Yeah. That's like her thing. That's her passion. That's kind of my thing. And Line Honors closed around the corner yes. too. So we have on Geneva in, Street. Yep. That's for rent. Both of those are for rent. There's a bunch around downtown actually that are for rent right There's now. There's a lot of open spaces. But there is. But we do have a lot of new businesses opening this spring. We have the Inspired Coffee Shop on Main Street opening. Inspiration Ministries, right. Right. And then we have uh, Brick and Mortar will be reopening and they will have a coffee shop as well. The brewery on the corner of Geneva and Broad Street will be opening for spring. A lot of great the new farm things. Stand. Even the library is talking about well. serving coffee. Amazing. I know. I know. So, yeah. The, okay. Talking about the library. Next week we have a committee of the whole meeting Monday 6 p.m. Tuesday we have the personnel committee meeting and then a finance license and regulation committee meeting and then on Wednesday we have a bid meeting over at Harbor Shores 8 a.m. but then at 9 a.m. at the library they have the community design input input session going on all day at the library and that's all about the future of the Lake Geneva library and changes that could be coming so they want everyone's input and then there'll be a public uh, meeting at 6 p.m. So there's gonna, they're gonna have another one the following week as well. So no final decisions, just an idea phase of changes that could help bring the Lake Geneva Library into um, more modern standards or... Yeah, yeah, there are a lot of suggestions yeah. and ideas that were brought up, so. So a lot going on with that. And then of course the Riviera is well underway with getting their new roof and all kinds of great renovations and the first floor is planned on being developed or renovated but the development plan has not been set yet so we're not quite sure what it's going to look like and we'll be sharing that with you as we find out more information and it's the last weekend for pier 290's indoor carnival so this is your last chance to get out there and enjoy it 
spring is definitely coming. It sure is. And kids eat free at Pier yes. 290 for two more days. So, all right. So with that being said, we're going to get on with our Friday. Enjoy the beautiful sunshine. We'll be back later with more weather, road, and news reports. I'm Lisa Otto. John Lovehouse. And George Belushi, Jr. And the Geneva Show Report. Bye. Bye.